Hold Shoulder, home. Right, face. Forward, mark. On St. Bernard Parish, we always, every year, we celebrate the Battle of New Orleans, the Order, War of 1812. So um, what we're going to be doing is having a reenactment um, by our observatory uh, at the 40 Arpent. So we're, we're excited about it. We did some research. We, we got some, uh, some reenactors uh, excited about this plan that we have, and we're looking forward to uh, doing this for many years to come. We want our school, school children to understand their history where St. Bernard was in one of the most significant battles in our history as far as the western expansion of our country. And if you don't have a, a good sense of uh, where your history is or was, um, you can't have a future. So, so that's something that, um, that, that we want to make sure that we educate our own citizens. Not only that, it's a great opportunity for tourism for people to come to St. Bernard Parish from all over our country to learn about the War of 1812 and the impact that St. Bernard Parish had on that battle. Well, on Friday and Saturday, on January 10th and 11th, we have a lot going on. Friday will be the school field trip days where school children will come through the 40 Arpent Battleground site. They'll see living history. They'll experience time period dancing, music. It's going to be very exciting and educational. On Saturday, we'll have the same going on. Everything will be free and open to the public. There will be vendors out there selling, you know, time period food and crafts. And also, Elaine P. Nunez will have their Battle of New Orleans and symposium. The symposium on Friday will be at their campus at Nunez and on Saturday they're actually coming to the site and doing two There's lectures one. over at the site. We have people that come every year and they uh, join the festivities and the uh, celebration, celebrations all over the city. Um, they come from Canada, they come from Europe, they come from all over um, to make to, to um, learn something new every year. You know, this year I, I think um, we have a group that's going to put on the reenactment and the educational um, part of it by Nunez Community College on site. And um, they, they come every year and, and it just seems that the excitement um, grows every year. But we need, to, we, we need to try to grow on the number of people that come to St. Bernard Parish. Right behind me you'll see the St. Bernard Parish government seal. The seal has the, a picture of the obelisk in it that is on the grounds of the Chalmette battlefield and of course a cannon. And the seven stars in the seal represent each of our seven districts in St. Bernard Parish. Well, it's called the Battle of New Orleans because in 1815 this part of modern day St. Bernard Parish was the eastern and lower part of Orleans Parish. So that actually when the battle was fought, Chalmette's plantation was in the parish of Orleans, hence the Battle of New Orleans. Andrew Jackson was utterly pivotal in the American victory in the Battle of New Orleans. There was a great deal of consternation, a great deal of concern on the part of the local citizens about how they would meet the challenge of one of the greatest armies in Europe. So that Jackson came and he had great uh, personality, he had great force of personality, and that, that charisma, that commitment that he had to the United States at that point made it possible for the locals to see that the British could be beaten. And he proved to be the person who was able to galvanize the local population to meet the challenge posed by the British Army in the Battle of New Orleans. Make ready! Freeze it! Fire! The Battle of New Orleans shaped the destiny of the United States because it determined that the United States would retain ownership of New Orleans through its ownership of New Orleans the mouth of the Mississippi River was to remain under the control of the United States and thence access to the Mississippi Valley remained under the control of the United States. 
So that was number one importance. Number two importance, and not necessarily in that in that vein or in that priority, but number two significance was that having the Mississippi Valley firmly under the control of the United States enabled the westward expansion of the United States to the Pacific Ocean. And through that occurrence, then in the 20th century, the United States was able to emerge as a global economic power titan. So that without the Battle of New Orleans, the destiny of the United States would have been very different. It's important that we learn this history because, of course, number one, the Battle of New Orleans changed the definition of American identity. After the battle, Native Americans, people of color, French, Spanish, all the people who lived in Louisiana at that point and in the valley who were not of Anglo-American descent were then recognized as Americans because they had fought to preserve the American ownership and presence here. So it's important for people today to learn the lesson that that teaches, that diversity is a great uh, strengthening element in our society today. The Living History presentation taking place on Saturday um, involves several aspects. One, you will see military encampments. You will see um, musket fire and drills, which involve reproduction weapons from 1812 to 1815. Um, you will see live cannon fire. You will also see the women who supported the troops in different aspects throughout the city through cooking, gathering clothing and supplies, and even um, medical and hospital supplies, which would be sent out to help treat the wounded. I think it's important for young people to really know the history, not only of our country, but specifically where we live here. As a 30-year educator in this community, um, Sometimes we, we kind of skip over the details to get to the big picture, but those details are important because that's what formed this community. Really, this was just a very outlying area up until the Battle of New Orleans, and it wasn't until after that time that more citizens and that began to come from the city to form this area. Right now, I am dressed in period costume from the early 19th century. You will see other reenactors dressed not only as civilians like myself, but also in authentic reproductions of the military uniforms that were from that time. There's something in your community that has a significant um, sense of history. And you need to know what that is. And I would just say from people that aren't from St. Bernard Paris, come visit um, what we have to offer here. We have a Chalmette Battlefield, a national park, right here with the monument and uh, all of the educational components and if you're a history buff, this is where you want to be in the first week of January. From the uh, celebration at the monument on January 8th, I believe it is, to the um, 4 o'clock mass given at the Ursuline Church, which ends the festivities, uh, basically, where it's a great story about Andrew Jackson um, coming in, uh, having victory on his side, and the nuns uh, of the Ursuline vowed to pray every year since then, and they still do, at the Ursuline Church. Right behind me, you'll see the St. Bernard Parish government seal. The seal has the, a picture of the obelisk in it that is on the grounds of the Chalmette Battlefield, and of course a cannon. And the seven stars in the seal represent each of our seven districts in St. Bernard Parish. We have so many exciting events going on in January 2020. On January 8th, we kick off with a commemoration over at the Chalmette Battlefield to do a wreath laying ceremony. Then of course at high noon in Jackson Square, the Daughters of the War of 1812 do their flag ceremony in Jackson Square. Then that evening, the Ursuline nuns, they also do a mass at four o'clock over, uh, over on State Street over at Our Lady of Prom Sucker Church. We're just so excited. Our, our tourism uh, department and um, all of our employees are playing a big role. That They're working very hard to make sure the experience is one that um, 
people can enjoy and learn and want to come back to in St. Bernard Parish. Well, that weekend, there's a lot going on. We also have the Isleños, our Spanish uh, heritage with the museum. That'll be open. We have the State Park. We have the Scenic Byway, restaurants, shopping. There's so much a tourist can experience and really discover and feed their soul in St. Bernard Parish. We also have the Jackson Day race on January 11th, where over 500 runners come and participate in this race. This is the oldest race in the United States. How far do people come for this? From Canada, from London. We've had people come from Italy before um, and throughout the United States, from California, Texas, Alabama, up north, you name it. They're coming all, they're all coming to New Orleans to experience the Battle of New Orleans and, of course, to be, we're right next door to New Orleans. So it's a win win situation for St. Bernard and New Orleans. How can people get more information? Go to our website at visitstbernard.com and you can follow us on Facebook at Visit St. Bernard.